Hello agents, Mad Marsh here. Just bringing you another build video. Uh, sorry I haven't uploaded a build video in a while. Um, but I've been just playing the game and just trying to juggle it from work. Um, but I've got some time on my hands. Um, I've managed to collect some gameplay, which you'll see after the video as well, of the uh, of the build in action. And so saying that, get right to it. We have got a tacticians build here. As you can see, I'm running 2,933 firearms. That's just enough to unlock my talents um, on my weapons. As I can only have three talents, but we'll go into them in a minute. And then we have got um, 2,777 stamina. So not really spec too much into stamina, although I've got health on my chest piece, which gives me a little bit of survivability. And then everything else is spec into skill power. Uh, 9,124. Could get it higher, um, but I like to run high skill haste, which I'll, um, I'll go into in a bit as well. Um, so start off wise, we've got the uh, vigorous chest piece. Always run vigorous, um, especially if I'm using an inventive backpack, um, because I've pretty much always got an overhill especially running with a group um, now I use this for seekers and I use it for uh, my sort of healer build um, I prefer the sort of healer, healer style of playing especially when you're in a group um, you know legendary missions and all those sort of bits and bobs you need a healer um, so yeah this is my vigorous chest piece as you can see I've got health skill haste um, would prefer um, ammo capacity but uh, beggars can't be choosers, and I need to uh, I need to farm some more with a little bit higher armor. Um, but yeah, my mods are um, skill power and skill power. So as much skill power as I can possibly get on my chest piece. Uh, moving on, I've got an invented backpack which I'm using. Um, again, skill power and burn resistance because I quite often uh, set myself on fire uh, with my seekers, especially if you're in close combat. Um, and I've got one firearms mod with skill haste on um, just to unlock my talents, which we'll go through in a minute. Um, but I also run uh, specialized as well, um, which again, max skill power, um, burn resistance. I normally run specialized for sort of PvE content, um, and then obviously to get my higher damage on my um, seekers, I use inventive. Um, but both backpacks are pretty good. I haven't tried any other ones, um, but they seem to do the job quite well. Uh, so moving on to my mask, uh, 995 armor, which is not too bad at all. Um, again, rolled in uh, skill power um, and burn resistance, which is key, especially if you're using uh, air burst seekers. And then I've got a uh, electronics mod again with skill power on that mask. And my gloves. Um, assault rifle damage because it's my primary weapon. Um, critical hit charge, which obviously I prefer critical hit damage. And then max skill haste on my gloves, obviously, then rolled into um, electronics again. Could get it a little bit higher, but it's not going to make too much of a difference. And then with knee pads, uh, not bad armor roll on the knee pads at all. Um, again, rolled in skill power, and I've got burn resistance again on there, so I'm not you know spending too much time on fire. Um, and then mods wise I've got uh, electronics with skill power and obviously I'm running my seekers on this one and then my holster which again I'm looking for a better holster I've got skill haste um, 259 electronics and 1217 but again the armor's not too bad um, on my on my holster as well uh, so moving into the weapons now uh, running a G36 enhanced I love the G3s, I prefer the G36C, um, but this one I've got because of literally the talents. Um, I can only unlock three talents with this um, with this gun unless it's in the free slot. Um, so I've got Talented, uh, which obviously killing the target with your weapon increases skill power by 15%. So with my inventive backpack and this talent, once I kill an enemy and I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm at full health, I'm getting 30% extra skill power. Uh, which is amazing. You drop those seekers, and there's not many uh, players and builds that can survive that. Um, intense. Um, first bullet in the magazine has 25% chance of uh, setting your opponents on fire. This has saved me millions of times. Um, you know, you're doing a, a legendary mission or whatever, you, you, you find yourself cornered on your own, you haven't got a lot of toughness. Um, 
and you manage to get that, that first bullet on the NPC that sets it on fire, gives you a chance to get away, drop your seekers, you know, get back to your team or whatever. Uh, again, intense is amazing, uh, especially when you when you find yourself having to sort of face tank a player in the dark zone or or whatever, and then competent, which obviously just gives me that extra boost of weapon damage. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad. Twenty percent enemy armor damage is not great, but um, it's not too bad at all. And then mod wise, you can just see there critical hit chance, um, some headshot damage. Just chuck some mods on there. Reload speed, um, accuracy as well. I mean, it does shoot like a laser beam anyway, but it's, you know, as you'll see in the video later on. But um, yeah, it's just randomly sort of modded. And then um, the sausage, as everyone calls it, the SASG. Um, now I use this, um, obviously I've got talented at the bottom slot and I've got competent on it. I use this basically just to help the group out, because uh, it creates stagger. Um, so you know, if you're fighting a group of four or whatever and you know, your, uh, your teammates losing health or whatever, you can use that to shoot the enemy and it will stop them from firing. Um, and I think it makes their camera sort of jump up and down as well, it's a little bit cheeky but being that I'm not running any firearms whatsoever, it, uh, it helps the team out a lot. So yeah, that's my... Uh, shotgun, uh, pistol wise, nothing really to to write home about. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my build. Um, let's have a look at my uh, bits and bobs as you can see. Weapon damage is not great. And then skill power, so my skill power there. My skill haste is at 41%. I can get it to 50%. Um, with the different mods, but obviously I want to top up my skill power, especially when I'm using my seekers, so I'll swap it in and out. Um, obviously when I'm doing sort of PvE content or, or PvP, and uh, obviously toughness. My armor's 32.23, which ain't too bad. Um, you know, 33, 34 is what I need to be aiming for, especially how squishy I am with my toughness. Um, but again, it's, it's not too bad at all. Um, now with my talents-wise, um, if I'm running my Seekers, I'll run Triage, because I'm normally with a group. Um, critical Save, Combat Medic, and Shrapnel, just because it gives you that extra extra damage from the explosion from the air burst. Mm -hmm. And then skill-wise, I always run the Deflip. It is amazing. Um, obviously, picks up enemies, left, right, and center. Um, you know, pick up players, sorry, L left, right, and center. Um, sometimes it glitches a little bit if, you, if you're running the... Um, if you're running the support the life support station, but other than that, um, it, it you know it's pretty good. You can it's got quite a good range and the cooldown. I can well it says 16 seconds on there, but I can get it down to about six seconds. Um, you know once triage and that is is it, it is propped. And then my air burst. Um, you know everyone's running air burst at the moment. Um, but yeah, total uh, explosion damage is uh, 1,900. A lot of damage there a lot of damage um, I've been told by a couple of friends of mine use the um, radius explosion mods as well it really really helps because um, obviously players are, are you know are, 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 are trying to counteract seekers with different builds and you know pop med kits before but if you can get the obviously the radius a little bit higher then um, you've got more chance of catching the players out and then I normally run whatever you know sort of recovery link um, you know that healer sort of style play So yeah, that's pretty much this build um, We've got um, a few uh, a Few video clips for you afterwards with the, where the build in action, but again Thank you for uh, Watching my other video did pretty well, so um, I'm hoping this one will and it will help anyone out any questions Please leave them in the comments below and um, you know, if, if, if you like this video, please like and uh, and drop a subscribe. The channel is slowly growing. Um, I've been doing a couple of live streams, the Purple Challenge on Saturday, Suicide Saturday. So check that one out. It's quite funny. Um, we had a few beers and you know had, had, had a good time, and that's what it's all about. So thank you very much, guys, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.
Right, bitch. Yeah, my gloves back.
Nice to see you. I'm gonna go.